Hello guys, it's Connor from Excel Game here, and I have another tutorial here today. And uh, today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use XSplit, which is a uh, live streaming program, uh, which is easy to use, and uh, on such programs on the internet, such as you now on YouTube, and all that kind of stuff. So I've just downloaded it from their website, and I'm just going to accept that right now. Uh, this is the 1.2 version uh, which was released as it says behind this March 4th 2013. So um, that's just about uh, nearly done. So once that I've done I'm going to be showing you the brief kind of thing how to get started with it and um, yeah see how it goes from there. So it should automatically bring it up after it, the install. So um, let's have a look what it requires. Uh, recommended it needs Windows 7 R8 and a net framework of 3.5 and um, it needs Adobe Flash Player and also uh, the minimum is Windows XP so uh, you know it allows Windows XP to actually run on it which is quite good for those old gamers who have the old you know PC gaming so you're just going to click next, next, next and install again. So not uh, like a long setup for this, uh, so you won't be waiting ages depending on your download speed. Uh, so while what, what that is waiting, uh, see what hardware, uh, so you can get 720p recording and flash streaming processor, uh, second generation Core i5. Or equivalent um, for HD 1080p recording uh, streaming processor, uh, second generation Core i7 or equivalent to it, uh, graphics card uh, GeForce Radeon, uh, which is a uh, mostly common capture cards, not capture cards, sorry, uh, graphics cards, what you can get for your desktop, and uh, also fitted in your PC slash laptop uh, so it should be loading up just about now so it's not taking long at all just have to do with this bit um, but anyway and recording resolutions higher than 480p requires the recommended software slash hard drive requirements Windows 8 is only supported with Xbox Broadcaster 1.2 which has just come out on the match of the 4 uh, so let's see down here a launch XSplit so here we go this is just like a web browser showing up and uh, let me just click that off there we go so I'm just going to the desktop here now click on it Click that, get rid of that, and then it just, there we go, it's just telling you that you've installed it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but Google's being a pain, and no thanks, and there we go. So it's just like, takes you to its website, saying thank you for installing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, um, let's get into it. Version 1.2. Xbox Core V1. So you will need to make an account on this, uh, which I already have an account because I've been using it. Uh, so um, I'm just going to log in now. So bear with me. So um, oh, must have did a type error there. That should be the right one. But I know why that is loading. Um, I need to tell you that I had another uh, outbreak of my computer restoring itself again and losing all my documents. But um, I'm getting there. It's uh, you know it's not that bad as uh, you think it is. I, I've been it happened twice, so 
Yeah. Uh, this is just like a continue. You have to like wait 13 seconds or something like that. 10 seconds. Uh, so don't just instantly click the buy now thing. Oh no, I have to buy it. So uh, as you can see now, continue. And you can t continue using the free features that is available. Uh, so you know you can actually use this resolution. You can make it bigger. You can make it full screen. As I will show you right now. And so that would be your full screen right here in there. So um, you know just get your re resolution. You can edit it. Uh, well, I'm just gonna go here with that. So yeah, the f features you can, uh, the free features you can use on this is uh, listed down here. You can add a camera, uh, which I will do now, and you can see me talking. So um, you can adjust this by doing, you know, moving about like this, you know. Uh, but as you move it that way, it actually drags it all, so it's not like stretching it you don't want to stretch it but if you do it that way that won't stretch it so um that's the camera uh, you can select the region so let's say for instance i'm recording this block here that will come up here and when i'm actually on there that's just saying that i can't do that because i haven't bought it but you can uh use you can use four selections, or maybe five, but I've only used four up to now. You have kind of four screens, which allows you to like have that one. Say you want to go to like I don't know another website, you click that, and then you can just take another region. Let's say uh, what can we do here? This top corner here. That will record that. You still got that one there, that one there, and then you can for free. You may want to like add a Skype video or a title. So let's say hello YouTubers, something like that, and you can actually use the scrolling, how fast you want it, what color you want it all that kind of stuff so uh, normal and that will simply just go across you can resize it and uh, yeah you can slow the speed down just by double clicking on it and also just make sure it's untitled configure you can either slow it down or change the text here so I could put added in a smiley face if I uh, like did a type error or something like that and then now it will be slow to get this little box off here just click there and uh, you have a little selection box here uh, you can like click it off and on uh, whether you want to do it or not uh, so and then you can just broadcast or do a local recording and then uh, uh, that will save to your desktop or documents or wherever, wherever you want to save it uh, so let's see what other features we got here we got the media file uh, what you can put in add game now this uh, you will need to buy uh, I think it's like 30 pound for like a month or something like that three month uh, I think uh, so let's just say buy this feature uh, so if you've got it unlocked fully then you can use anything like screen any more resources you know add them in install them all like that so you can have an image slideshow a starboard a live stream a video playlist why even doing you no know, your webcam so you've got uh, like four here and um, you can't have five you only have four available in the free version uh, so pretty awesome if you ask me so like doing YouTube live stream or you know like connect your uh, capture card up to it a game if you bought the thingy the real version the purchase and uh, or you could either like open up in your program if you've got the free version 
I'm just simply, you know, say this is my video of my Xbox. I could just record that, move it to where I want, like do it there, and you'll still be able to see it. So, um, pretty much all the free features I've included there, they're set from the frame rate. Yeah, you can only have uh, 25 uh, frames per second. Uh, you can have, you can have. Uh, 30 frames per second, but uh, you will have to buy it so um, That may be a point to consider um, And you can actually view my recordings They will go in export recordings in your document So if you do do a local recording you can easily find it uh, It will locate it for you um, and the nouns I think is also a actual purchase feature when you purchase the actual membership so um, coming to the end of this now uh, you can do a new presentation you can load one you can save one so I could like save this uh, you know to my desktop uh, saying test or something like that and then it will simply save it here and uh, you can also, you know, click new now. It will then open a new. So I have nothing there now. And then I can also load. Scroll down. Click test. Open. And you've still got all your things that you saved from last time. So it's really easy to use. Really easy to get going. Straight away. One by one click. Uh, so even when you close it down, for example, I'll just show you. Close it down. Go back onto your menu. Real load it up. It'll ask you if you want to load the last saved uh, presentation up. Log on. And then after you've logged in, it will bring it up. Hopefully this time it normally does it after this screen probably well anyway uh, it's just saying if you buy it uh, you can then get the full HD 1080p the 60 frames per second like I mentioned earlier so continue it doesn't actually say it, but uh, it, you know if you after you've used it a couple of times it will come up and say whether you want a new one or you want to continue using the last saved one then it will do so so um hope this is a, in, being a like a helpful video a quick uh, kind of thing up um, on what this program is like to use and what the free version it has to offer uh, so um, thanks for watching guys uh, if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, don't forget to check out my other channel which will be in my channel description and also I will be opening a vlogging channel soon if you would like to see my daily uh, vlogs and my uh, actual privacy and all that kind of stuff so if you're into that uh, just don't forget to stay active and uh, yeah view my other videos on my channel so yeah I'll see you later guys and this has been Callum peace